Adios Tatsakote. Good morning. We have left Tatsakote and have it uh, a few miles astern. Our today's destination is El Hierro, Puerto de la Estaca. It's about 55, probably 60 nautic miles. So that's a longer cruise today. Yesterday the wind forecast didn't look that good because between the Triangle, La Palma, La Gomera and El Hierro there's a wind field, the so-called acceleration zone, which showed yesterday in the forecast strong winds uh, up to 30 knots. But this uh, morning looks much better for the afternoon at least and that's the time when we cruise there. I hope we can rely on the forecast, we never know. So but it, it, it looks uh, fairly alright, so we, uh, we give it a try. Yeah, the weather is uh, quite nice, sunshine, no wind here, very calm. Obviously we are leewards uh, of the island, but we know it will change pretty soon when we are passing the southern land peak of La Palma. So let's see how the day goes. The southern peak of La Palma is port side ahead. I think we have another four nautic miles until we get the real wind. But it is starting here. Yeah? You see the on the water. Yeah, we are close to getting the wind. It already changed to southwest, leewards of the island. At the horizon, I can see the first breaking waves. There must be the wind. Yeah, now the wind is there. It hasn't taken much longer. It uh, was from one moment to the other. Five before four up to 20 knots. But uh, we will get more. Yeah, let's see. And five minutes later, I had to reef the sail because the wind blows around 30 knots. I haven't expected it coming that soon. Ah, oh, well, no problem. That keeps me fit. <laughs> Yeah, now the wind speed has reduced. We are about 25 knots. Yeah, fairly relaxed uh, cruise at the moment. I think I need to set a little bit more sail. <laughs> Took the Genoa in a little bit. I think we now have a storm sail size. Of course, the wind was blowing uh, a while ago with 30 to 34 knots. It uh, was a little bit uh, too much sail for that. Yeah, but now it's a little bit better, so I take the opportunity to cook something. And here the little soup is cooking. Ah. Yeah, 
our lunch time now. Great soup. All is running well. I think we have eventually half of the distance done. Now yeah, wind blowing with uh, four or seven at the moment, but uh, all going well. A heavy swell here, so we got uh, slightly washed here in the cockpit. Yeah, wind uh, above 30 knots, and that's uh, what we can see here in the waves as well. Yeah. Quite heavy at the moment. Yeah, the wind is uh, almost gone, three to four before. The Genoa is flattering in the wind. So I think we need to pull it in, otherwise uh, it gets damaged. And then we need to do the rest on the engine. But it has been good fun. Take arrow ahead, but a lot of mist around. Dolphin! El Hierro at starboard. We've made it. 57 nautical miles, 10 hours down here. It was a great sailing day, we had really good wind, but it was quite exciting getting in here, into this uh, marina. There was no one in the harbor office, I called them on channel 9, on channel 14, uh, which was recommended uh, by the cruising guides. Nothing, then I called them on 16, and then some guys here out of the, of the marina from the sailing vessel Capella, they answered me and they said there's nobody here and they would help me uh, with, with the mooring, so and that worked well. And quite strong winds here. The gusts are coming in from the mountains uh, with uh, four or six, around 25 knots, partially. I put another line to the other ponton here yeah, to protect the fenders a little bit. Hope nobody comes in overnight, but I think it's very unlikely. <laughs> yeah, then uh, let's enjoy. This town here, I will explore it tomorrow. I don't think I will do anything now. I will cook some things. Ah, now it's coming. So I will cook an Indian dish. Ching curry or something like that. But first of all, it's a well-deserved beer for the successful mooring. Cheers. In the morning we have the unchanged picture, the wind is still blowing strongly. The little village Puerto de la Estaca has about 100 inhabitants. As I would like to leave early, I am on my way to the harbor office, which is located here in the ferry terminal building. Adios Puerto de la Estaca! Yeah, we have left the marina. It was uh, quite windy during the night, up to uh, 40 knots uh, the wind, strong uh, gusts. Yeah, at the moment it's uh, 
seven before to eight. Quite strong here. Yeah, what do you see? So our destination is uh, La Gomera. The course is uh, northeast, and the wind is coming from there. So we are hard up to the wind as uh, hard as possible. So um, at the moment, I think 60 degrees, 70 degrees. I set that angle. So yeah, I only get out of here and uh, later more. Whoa. We are now on the easterly course. The wind at the moment is yeah, slightly below 30 knots. It's getting a little bit better. So destination I said is La Gomera. It's uh, northeast of us. So the wind forecast showed that El Hierro is in a, in a wind field for the next few days. So it wouldn't make any difference if we stayed a day longer there and left tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So I decided to, to leave today. I had to reach the Genoa already. It's now very small and I feel more comfortable. We are sailing with a wind angle of 60 degrees to the apparent wind. Can't go more up to the wind because then the sail is fluttering and I think we would face a risk of breaking it or damaging something else. So now it's all stable. The angle to the waves is also okay. Uh, wind, uh, yeah, it's getting better now. As I said, it's, it's more we're getting to the east, as less wind we will have. So, uh, 24, 23 knots. <sighs> yeah. So that's how it looks outside here. It's getting much better now. The wind is around 20 knots, so I set the mainsail half as well. It's exactly according to the wind forecast. Yeah, we are out of that uh, strong wind zone. Yeah, they call it the acceleration zone between the islands. So we have 25 nautical miles behind. And now we have around uh, 15 knots wind. I already set a little bit uh, more sail. It keeps the speed and also have gone a little bit more up uh, to the wind. I set the angle now on 35 degrees. Yeah, we have uh, La Gomera about 20 nautical miles ahead of us yeah but uh, what a ride again it was very good uh, jumbo performed excellent uh, it was good to see on that uh, upwind course here in heavy conditions uh, how the balance is of the boat because i put 80 kilograms here at the back with the tube construction and the solar panels in on the other hand i put a anchor chain of 80 kilos at the front in so, and I could see that the jumbo was uh, sailing up the waves and down and was uh, well balanced. So, 
all good. I'm uh, more than pleased with that. So I think it was necessary to have that uh, final test. And I'm glad that uh, we had those conditions. Fortunately, we haven't overdone, so everything is still okay here. Yeah, now I'm looking forward to Playa de Santiago. There's a little uh, anchor bay, and uh, I would like to drop the anchor there, do some swimming, and uh, well, let's see. I look forward to that. Full sails now. The wind speed has reduced again, as expected. Yeah, let's see how long we can sail. Is that great? Three before now. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Turtles. Wow. La Gomera heißt. We made it. The anchor dropped at 12 meters. I still use the anchor rope with a six meter chain in the beginning. I think that should work because we have uh, no wind, no currents here. I will get the dinghy ready tomorrow and then I will drive over because we have a little bit of infrastructure over there. So probably a little supermarket, some restaurants. So I haven't decided if I stay for one night or two. Uh, if I stay for, for one night, then probably I use one of the next uh, bays and uh, drop the anchor again. But let's see. First of all, I am looking forward to my anchor beer. Oh, it's been a, quite a hard day. Cheers. morning well, the night was okay I got the anchor alarm running on a few times until I put the right radius in 100 meters and then it uh, was okay I also tracked it uh, with an avionics app so I could always see how the position has uh, changed yeah our dinghy is uh, ready and I'm driving over there there's a little spa supermarket and then we uh, buy a few things and then I don't think that I will stay that long here uh, because there's a ferry line going in and out and uh, also believe that some people think I'm disturbing a little bit here the entrance but uh, in the cruising guide was that was the anchor spot here so yeah then we look for another little anchor spot and then uh, we enjoy the rest of the day Yeah, a nice little village and now we go shopping in the spa supermarket. Adios Playa de Santiago! Ah, quite nice. A lot of small anchorage bays. There are some dolphins over there. We're on the way to Puerto de Fueltas. That's uh, on the western side of uh, La Gomera. It has been recommended to me. So there's a nice beach, a nice village. 
we dropped the anchor there and we'll enjoy the afternoon. Well, just ahead. That's where you want to go. Yeah, well now it's the Playa de Agaya, uh, nearby Fueltas. That yeah, looks quite nice. We dropped the anchor here and we stay here the whole afternoon, one night. I will go for swimming and then relaxing the rest of the afternoon. Maybe I get over with a dinghy to the town and have a bite. We'll see. We are now driving with our dinghy to the little village of Fueltas. Yeah, let's have a look at that. We are now in Fueltas. Nice little village. But now let's have a beer in the harbour bar. For me this anchor spot here at Playa de Agaya is the nicest one which I could experience during the short time I'm cruising here. The little town is nearby and has some supermarkets and restaurants. The bay is offering good anchor ground in front of the picturesque cliffs. Usually you anchor in good distance to the other boats, which gives the opportunity to swim naked, which I liked as well. Good morning! Yeah, we are ready to leave. I already uh, put the dinghy back on board, so I pulled the outboard up with a little crane. That was very helpful. I don't think I could do it without it. And then I pulled up uh, the dinghy in the middle of the ship uh, with uh, one of the lines here. Yeah, then I will heave the anchor manually. <laughs> That shouldn't be a problem uh, under those conditions. Yeah, then we cruise to San Sebastian. Adios Vueltas! Yes, it has been very nice. Impressive cliffs here on our way to San Sebastian. Port side ahead is Playa de Santiago and here in the far distance we can already see Tenerife. Both islands are relatively close together. Put the sheets out to dry them. They have become a little bit wet overnight. It's the window open and the whole ship was covered with uh, morning dew. So everything was wet and also a little bit inside. So, hope it helps. Almost there. Because of via radio, we can enter the port area. Yeah, message received. I called Marina via channel 09. Gracias. Yeah, welcome. We are now entering the port area and then driving through to the marina. Last from sailing vessel Wonderwall has already made a reservation for us, so everything should be all right. So here's the entrance to the marina. So we have to drive through those yellow boys. That is the entrance way clearly marked. And over there is the marina. That looks really nice here. So here we have to drive through. Yeah, we've made it. We are now in the Marina Lagomera. 
very nice and uh, warm welcome to Lars from Sailing Vessel Wonderwall. <laughs> nice to meet you, Martin. Yeah, great <laughs> pleasure for me. <laughs> Lars was uh, kind enough uh, to organize a birth for me. So thanks for that as well. And <laughs> I think now the mooring beer <laughs> is well deserved. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Buenos dias! It's a very nice marina here in San Sebastian. I had a nice afternoon yesterday, so I met uh, Lars and also another German sailor Kai and uh, with a pleasant afternoon here on board. <laughs> it was quite nice. Yeah, today I would like to have a look on the town here and that's what we're doing now. The beach and the beach promenade. Nice little restaurants are inviting to stay. Nice little park here. San Sebastian is a very nice little town with about 10,000 people living here. A yeah, nice beach, the marina is very good. Then here in the town center, there are a few restaurants, also quite nice. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. 